close. There he is. Coming up from the depths. Holy Moses. <laughs> I was not expecting that. What's on the agenda for us today? Uh, we're gonna do some bottom fishing today, Aaron. We're gonna head up to a little spot that we like to try and get our white meat from. Okay. Well, we might stop and do some coho fishing either on the way in or the way out. Uh, but the cohos have been showing up on the inside now too, so on right the way on. out we'll try and put some of those in the boat. Maybe catch some of the ones we had to let go yesterday because right. they were all wild. That's right, yeah. yeah. The area that we're going to be fishing in, we can keep those wild today, so Great. hopefully we can put a couple in the boat. Yeah, the coho fishing was on fire yesterday, so hopefully we can get some limits today. <laughs> um, let's do it. It's going to be so much fun. It's time for the Northwest Fishing Reports. Come along as we travel to hidden gems and fishing hotspots around the Northwest. You'll see a little of everything as we fish with top guides on their home waters and bring you the latest in tackle, tactics, and techniques to help you catch more fish. With Aaron Board, Mike Carey, and Rob Holman. Now, it's time to go fishing. Presented by your local Toyota dealers. Toyota, let's go places. We're gonna fish this coho spot on the way out to do some bottom fishing here. We got high tide first thing in the morning, so we'll see if we can't put a couple coho in the boat and then we'll put some big link on and rock fish in the boat here. Guys, what we're doing here is, it's called bucktailing and it's a pretty traditional way of fishing out here, at least it used to be. Um, it's just starting to make a big comeback out here now. And what we're doing is we're trolling these polar bear bucktail flies. Ten to fifteen feet behind the boat, right in the prop wash. And what that prop wash does is it acts as uh, an attractor for these coho a little bit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do a video, eh? <laughs> Rob will get back with that explanation in a minute. That's a good problem to have though, isn't it? <laughs> First thing in the morning, fishing with Tofino Fishing. That was what, a uh, couple minutes there? We had the lines in the water, eh? Yeah. Kind of like that start to the day. I do indeed. Wow, these are feisty, eh? <laughs> I'm speaking Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a Chinook. <laughs> so what's the deal with Chinook? Ah, uh, we'll let him go. Oh, it is a little spring, eh? Yeah, here. That yeah, Chinook is closed in this area. So, how's that for luck, eh? First, <laughs> first fish of the day and it's a Chinook. <laughs> Let's let Rob finish what he was telling us about bucktails before we were so rudely interrupted by that Chinook. Rob? <laughs> that's, a, that's a good problem to have, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, these are, are made of polar bear hair. So uh, what we're doing is we're trolling these flies with uh, an eight weight fly rod and a heavy sink tip line just right behind the boat here, you know, 10 to 15 feet behind the boat. Uh, we got, this one's got a little spinner blade on it. And what it does is um, they're mimicking these needlefish that's in here. And you know, these coho, they get real aggressive. They're trying to put on the feed before they're heading up to the rivers here. And they're just hitting anything and everything that they can trying to fatten up for that spawn. Uh, so we're here trying to cut them off on their way to the river and see if we can have some fun on the fly rods today. Cool, and that would be awesome. Let's get that fly back there. All right, that sounds good. good. All right. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. You almost took my luck, buddy. <laughs> yeah, it's getting head in. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Woo. First one of the day. Yes. Nice. High five, buddy. Good work. Nice one. Nice fish right there, guys. Yeah. Nice big stock coho. That is a beautiful fish. It's not a beauty fish. We really don't use that term in the industry. But it is beautiful. Nice new phone there, Noah. Put some line out for me. High five. Yeah. Nice fish, man. Thank you. I'm oh, sorry about that. Great. A little bit bigger than the last one. He's, uh, maybe he'll jump for us. Nice coho. Yeah. Beauty. Nice. Beauty. Hey, nice work, man. Thanks. More Northwest fishing reports after the break. After a successful couple hours of trolling for coho, we've moved to the second uh, spot for our day's fishing adventure. We have the beautiful uh, mountains of Vancouver Island as a backdrop. Rob, what are we going after now? We're going to be fishing for some ling cod and some rockfish. So out here we've got multiple different species of rockfish. The main ones we're going to be targeting are yellow eye, quillback and copper, and then of course ling cod. Um, the ling cod out here can get pretty big. It's uh, This spot's not overfished too much. Uh, we've made a bit of a run here to get to some um, uncharted territory a bit if you will. And we're gonna try and make the most of it here. We got some nice weather, some, some great gorgeous. scenery, and uh, we'll see if we can't put a couple big old ling dingers in the boat. All right, well, let's drop the gear down and get some fish. All right, sounds good. Here we Waiting go. for the first fish. Oh, almost had it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty down. There we go, fish on. Well, that didn't take too long. One pass, and Aaron's hooked up behind me. Oh, man. <laughs> you didn't even know <laughs> It's a bit of a workout, but it's a fun workout. <laughs> Close. There he is. Coming up from the depth. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, Mike. Holy Moses. <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> Look at that fish. What would you put that at, Gibson? That's probably 20, 25 pounds. That's a good one. That's a whole lot of fishing chips. Absolutely. You just get off there. And... Yeah. Oh, you still got yours there? Yeah. Happy to hold one of those up in Washington. 
Gibson, um, why don't we uh, show the viewers our bait today and tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, so these are the uh, swim baits that we've been using made by Lighthouse Lures. Uh, they're called Megabyte Jigs. Um, they come in about six or seven different colors. Uh, I find though when it's nice and a sunny day like today, the blue ultraviolet works uh, really well. And uh, the one thing that I really like about them is that uh, it doesn't, uh, you don't get to catch a lot of the smaller fish. It keeps mm -hmm. the smaller fish off so they can get bigger. Right. Um, the durability of these baits is unbelievable. I don't know if you can see uh, how many teeth marks are just shredded this lure and yet it's still catching tons of fish and it'll still catch a lot more. Um, yeah, the guys at Lighthouse did a really good job in uh, designing these lures. Yeah, no doubt. And um, this is a smaller version, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, these are called the Max Shads. Um, they're just a little bit smaller. They're six ounces instead of uh, 14. Um, you know, they're a little bit light for our usage here because we're fishing so much deeper, but uh, it sounds like you guys down south will be uh, really looking forward to getting these guys on the market. Yeah, um, yeah, we have some spots where you you can't fish over a certain depth, and this would be perfect for that uh, close shore, shallower application. Absolutely, yeah. There you go, Noah. <laughs> Here. <laughs> Noah's got one too? Noah's Aaron and I are working opposite sides of the boat. I hook up, he hooks up. These lingcod, they're real powerful fighters. Look yeah, at the head are. shakes on That's that. That's a great head shake. Look at your stingers on there. Yeah. You should be able to get that. So cool to be able to fish for lingcod here in September. Out on Vancouver Island. Wow, what beautiful crystal clear water. Ooh, ooh. Oh, there you go. And Mike, come around me, Mike, to the other side. Or sorry, yeah, Mike. So I just picked up a halibut, but unfortunately, halibut season is closed up here. So we had to let them go, but we can't win them all, but we're gonna try and win at least one more. So we're gonna go back to fishing. No, hey, Blink, huh? Nice. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> wow. Uh, that was close. Wow. That is a wonderful lingcod. Oh, yeah. We got Noah hooked up over here. We got a fish in the boat. Oh, that uh, fish is just peeling line on him. Big fish for Noah. What you got there, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What's, What's he doing? <laughs> He's trying to mess me up. <laughs> it couldn't possibly be this fish. <laughs> I don't say that because it will be. <laughs> He's not a little guy either. He's pulling hard. Feel the burn, huh? Oh, yeah. Damn. Perfect. And Mike's on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 
watch where you step. Got all these fish below me here. Good problem to have though, isn't it? A good one? I'd say. Not bad. Hold on your pole. I'm gonna need the ibuprofen tonight. <laughs> Sore muscles. He's pulling hard. Yeah, that's, he's still got some fight in him. Yeah. That's a big one. Yeah. <laughs> Down he goes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Is it bigger than me? Getting close. That is big. That is a big lingcot. Alright everyone. Tofinofishing.com. Check them out on the web. Mid-September and the fishing is off the charts. There's no one around us except us and a whole lot of big lings. Book your trip today. As you can see, it's been a very productive day. Rob, Gibson, you got us on the fish. Yes, we did. Yeah. yeah. Some nice ones there for sure. I mean, yeah. this is kind of your average, your typical day of bottom fishing out here in Tofino. Wow. Okay, if this is typical, we need to come out here more often. Absolutely, you guys are welcome back anytime. Well, thank you. Uh, we'll take you up on that offer. Yeah. <laughs> All right, again, check them out, tofinofishing.com. We'll see you guys on the water and online. We got three minutes of battery left on this. Is that right? Look at that, that's a nice shot there. Give me the look. Hey, it's Rob Horner from Northwest Fishing Reports. What do you have to say this morning? Let's go fishing. It's too much time to get out here. Did we make it over the bar? Yeah. <laughs> we already went through the, set, the, the bar and everything? Yeah, well, that's it. Oh, yeah. Hey, how about this? I hate the way. Hey, hey, who wants to catch one? <laughs> what do you think of the size of these fish? Nice, I can't wait to taste them because I've never tasted a coconut. Because we're in north central Washington here at Northwest Fishing Reports, we're with Jared Gibbons from Okanagan Valley Guide Service and we're here with his son Gunner this morning. Beautiful morning in June, catching kokanee <laughs> with my honey. <laughs> well, I was going to kiss you too. Oh, here we go, right there. Set it, set the hook. Pop it, pop it harder. There you go, now reel. Yep, keep the rod tip up, and then just reel. There you go, and then once you feel them, slow it down. There you go, okay. I'll Got him? Oh, thank you, gun. Oh. Just go and pull some line out? Good, so you're gonna put it in the dead well, right? What you talked about? Put your finger in there. No teeth. There it is, there it is, back rod, back rod. <laughs> there you go, grab the rod. Right, right, go, there there well with it. Marine, you're going to have to move a little quicker. Dave can take all the fish. <laughs> it's the water. Oh, yeah, big school of fish right here on the fish finder. What's up, buddy? That's a chunky one right there. Those are oh, all yeah, yeah. Nice. Now that is a nice coat. There we go. We got fish on both sides. Double, double, double. Double, double, double. There you go, good job. That'll work. <laughs> We've been out here about 20 minutes. It's heating up. I think everybody's having a good time. This is just really a fantastic lake for coconut. 
I got a push, yeah. Bigger. Let me. I got it. Right, Rod, right, Rod, right, 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 right. There we go. Double, double. Okay, get case, case. Right up. <laughs> right here. Oh, oh, so they took that. There we go. Oh, he just popped up. Oh. Oh. He was giant. I'm going to show you pull the Holman. <laughs> ah, hey, don't start that, Kevin. Okay, hold your pull to the right. There you go, keep it up. Rush it up. Up, 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 up. Watch that. Okay. Good job. Nice. <laughs> Trained very good. Ooh, wow. Nice toss. <laughs> Nicely <laughs> done. Oh you really want to, you come up here and do a couple couple lake deal. You have Palmer Lake just north of here. Yeah, you got these two monkeys. lakes here. Chelan, you know, that's another you know, 50 yeah, minutes away. Right. You can go over the hill an hour to Lake Roosevelt and you're there. So you can kind of do a circuit here if you're over here. Right there, Roger Buck. Okay, okay. Okay. Good thing the tip of the pole is there. You might have reeled them right all the way down through the ice. <laughs> so what we have here is our eliminator. Uh, this one here is a full size one. And I took the standard 1.5 wing off and I put a one inch one on there. This is a, one of our Moon Jelly one inch wings. We have them in the 1.5 as well. And that just sits on top of the bead now. Bend her back and offset it, bend it both different directions. So when it spins, Bingo, just like that. Acts perfect and it shakes the hoochie, hence the name Shaker Wings. Orange corn has worked really good. Use any type of uh, cure for that, but an orange corn. Put a little dye in it. Put a little tablespoon of garlic dipping sauce in it. They seem to be liking the garlic lately in the last couple lakes we fished. And I put one piece of corn on each hook. And that's all we need. Like that. Oh, <laughs> Look at that. You got your pink coochie with the one inch moon jelly wing on it. Big fish. Big fish.